You're, you're what the fucking deal <laughs> is, man. <laughs> what is the deal? What's popping? What it damn do? It's just it's the uh, it's the Tokyo Black X show for the Beat Down Podcast. You feel me? We're back in this motherfucker. We gave y'all episode zero. This is episode zero point one. <laughs> you feel me? As we as we try to you know say maneuver through everything that's going on. We heard the we seen the comments on the first ten minute video of the last one where y'all was talking about the uh the audio. So hopefully that sounds better. Y'all get in the comment section on that. Let us know if the if the audio sounds better, if it sounds worse. We we, we need to know. We need to know what's going on. Yeah, talk to Be us, man. With you, bro. Talk to us. Man, things are going pretty well. Got a lot of good news lately. You know, got that Steam Deck coming in. Um, Quick little lesson. I just had to speak up and shit goes my way sometimes. Um, I was like, yo, Sorry. man. I'm going to need this Steam Deck, you feel me? <laughs> and then I was like, all right, guys, look, we need to make a campaign. I got to get one. I'll be the ultimate streamer. If this shit comes out, y'all have my word. My brother was like, hey, man, what you been up to? I was like, hey, bro, I'm trying to get the Steam Deck, trying to stream. If I get one, it's literally going to be over. Oh, it's not, it's not that bad, actually. And he yeah, was like... Fire. He was like, "Why well, don't you just take mine?" I was like, "Huh?" <laughs> yeah, like, uh, I was like, "Um, right. okay, I owe you ten million fucking dollars." Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna give him a hat. I'm gonna give him a cap. The uh, so shout out, shout out, Shofu on the passing the stream deck over. Definitely, or Steam Deck passing the Steam Deck over because me and B Down talked actually like two days ago about all of the things you can do on a steam deck it's and, actually uh, crazy it's over there's there's way too many options on there's way too many things you can do we were on the phone for literally like an hour straight just talking about the things you can do facts <laughs> it's too many it's too customizable it's too much like a game system but it's a pc so we can handle windows and Anything that can handle Windows can emulate any game known to man. Um, okay, up to PS3. So give them, give them the the top five. And first, shout out Shofu. Y'all go check out the Cipher vlogs. There's two vlogs up right now. There'll probably be a third one up by the time this gets edited and put out. So definitely go check out Shofu's channel. But what are the first five games you're gonna be? <laughs> Streaming with the Steam Deck. Bro. First five games. Our first game. five. Facts. Uh, okay. The first one is the most insane game of all time. It's actually okay, a fact. You, everybody, everybody listening in the comments, can you guess what the first game is that Beatdown is going to stream? When I say it's the most insane game <laughs> of all time, I literally lost my mind when he told me this shit. All right, y'all ready? All right, first game, Marvel versus Capcom Two, end of story. So number two, possibly number three, if I care enough. Um, I'm gonna get Tales of Arise, brand new Tales game, just before DLC comes out. Whole other DLC, a whole other game story. Um, I'm gonna get Mugen, which if those who don't know, back in 2008, 2009, Mugen was fucking popping. It was a game engine that taught you how to code for video games. Long story short, instead of having the eight people to come on the screen, I have 297 characters I've downloaded online over time. And I can teach them how to like, not teach them, but I could program any character I want. I'm talking about Milia Rage, Mario, Sonic, Sora, all them shits. I put them in the game. I gave them three air jumps. And three air dashes. So they have air combos galore all over the whole place. And then I put... Out of the 297 characters, I got like... Diff I got like, ho like like really disgusting versions of each character. Like Holy Ken and Violent Akuma and shit. And I made them bosses. And I put my own music in the game. This is the reason I started making music. Because I wanted to make music for video games and see if they actually work together. So my whole style of making beats was so different from the first 
50 beats because <clears throat> because I was making them for video games in, 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 at first. So anyway, I had my own game engine. I put characters in the game. My goal when I was 19 was to put my own animations on top of those like, like as skins and see how they move and play my own game with my own characters, but somehow make it all mine and not Mugen after a while. So anyway, that shit yeah. can be played portably on the Steam Deck with no problem whatsoever. All I gotta do is reconfigure the keys. That's it. So that's number three. So that's number uh that's gonna be the the fucking 297 characters. I specifically didn't get three characters because I wanted when I was going to stream one day to have the fans choose the characters to use and then we can fight like that. We can place bets on who's going to win. We can fight smart. Ardo. That's smart. Um, I can try to be arcade mode, which is actually kind of doable, but it's also tag team. So it's two on two, but it's real time. So it's four people fighting, but it's two people on the same team, like, like Smash Bros, but no team attack. Mm. So you can literally combo oh, somebody yeah, after smart. somebody combos you, and it's it's nasty. Um, so anyway, uh, so Mugen for damn sure is about to be disgusting. Um, Tales of ACS. I actually like a lot of Tales games, but this one is a fan mm. game, four windows, and it's one on one, and it's combo city. You have to do skill after skill after skill to even do damage. It's actually kind of sick, and every move is manually inputted like a fighting game. So there's no get goods. There's no, you have to just, I mean, there is get good. You have to beat the fuck out of someone's life in order to even do, you know, 25% of their HP. Combo after their combo. It's, it's, I, you guys, Google, Google any Tales game you want and then realize that Tales of ACS has every character in it anyway. The good ones. Um, That's four. What's the fifth one? Can I remember without looking into my phone? Let's see. Uh, Power Stone I feel one like and two. I remember what it was, but uh, uh, I gotta go back and look. I'm, I don't want to disrespect my lineage of games right now. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I we're only talking about the first five. There's actually like there's actually yeah, like fifty thousand. Yeah, already. Oh, here we go. Dynasty Warrior Strike Force. Oh, yo, okay. Talk to them. <laughs> talk to them about Dynasty Warriors. All right, we, guys. We talked about Dynasty Warriors for a while. Dynasty Warriors is one of those games where, like, it kind of, I don't want to say it flew under the radar, but when Beatdown mentioned it as the number five game when we were going through the list, I remember playing Dynasty Warriors back in the day and nobody knowing anything about the game. So I kind of <laughs> felt like I was the only one that knew what was up for real. Man, okay, so we got to talk about this one real quick, too, then. No worries. So, Dynasty Warriors Strike Force, you would think, is like every other Dynasty Warriors game, blah, blah, blah. But this is actually the first game that Dynasty Warriors was actually not playing around. And they can go super for some reason, and they can fly. And they can do godly air combos. I was shocked that this game even existed. It's four players, multiplayer, beating the shit out of people in the air. It's as if everyone's a Dragon Ball Z fighter. I don't know why. I, I, hey, I, this shit was amazing. You had weapons you can the customize. The fact that they can fly is crazy. Like for no reason at all. <laughs> and that it was such a, it was so combo oriented. I'm like, bro, why is, why does no one know about this game? It was on PSP at first. But Dynasty Warriors Strike Force 2 came out and I never got to play it because, um, it was only in Japan, and I didn't know how to be Japanese at the time. I was like, I don't even... What was I, 14 or something? But, ooh, it's looking nice. Kind of. Yeah, that's coming together crazy. Okay. <laughs> I messed up right when I said that, too. Yeah, the, 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 the right eye was... Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that's fine. I'll do something funny with it. I was actually in Japan playing Dynasty Wars, and that's probably why, like, I just felt like nobody knew anything about the game, is because when I was when I was playing it, I played it, and I was just like going through meleeing people. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I I tried to get back into it and. When I got back to the States and I was like, it just doesn't feel the same, bro. 
<laughs> it just doesn't it just doesn't feel the same nobody knows what this game is they're like oh why are you you're just beating people up like no there's there's more to it i can't believe people say that to that game of all games dynasty warriors is the reason that a lot of these games even get their leg up in the action world because they program so many enemies it's actually yeah crazy. yeah and they're just there's literally like 200 300 enemies coming at you all at once bro and it's actually tight because in, in Dynasty in Dynasty Warriors Strike Force, you actually have to kill them or they'll kill you. And you never yeah. really hear about that in Dynasty Warriors. You always hear, oh yeah, they're so easy to beat, blah, 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 hack and slash. Mm -hmm. But nah, man, they weren't playing around. If you didn't do anything, they would beat you up. That's one of the games where you had to combo them to death or you die from not doing so. It's actually yeah. pretty sick. I like when they do that in games where it's like you actually have to try there's a lot of games out there where it's like you can just do stuff and the computer actually isn't trying to the computer actually isn't trying to kill you at some point like if you're a true gamer it gets to the point where you're like all right i you know i'm not getting anything from this because i know i'm not gonna lose true so there's no risk and no you know reward. what i mean yeah, yeah 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 there's like there's no reward in the game i just feel like I can continue to press these same buttons and nothing's going to happen. And that may be fun for some people, but we don't play that here at TXB, okay? Thank you. You dig me? We don't do that here. We don't play now, around. Who are you? Now that's, a, now, that's a good... See, now my top five, my top five games that... When you said the Steam Deck and I came up with my top, like, five, my top five games seem so boring in comparison <laughs> <laughs> Because I just want to go back and play. I want to go back and play all the old games that I kind of either already played or there's a couple of games that I I didn't get to play back in the day, uh, you know, that I want to have. But I don't think any of those made it to my top five. So so my top five, like, list of games, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 wasn't on there until you said it. But now it is. Marvel vs. Capcom is is my top one game. Do you know how much Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is? Like the actual disc? Psh. Last time I saw it, it was like 80 bucks. But that was like 10 years ago. So it's probably, what, right 3,000? <laughs> it, I mean, it might actually be for real. Man, I wouldn't even be. Shout out to everybody listening to the podcast right now. I'm about to see how much Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is. <laughs> Marvel vs. I'm, I'm going to be more realistic and maybe I'll say um, maybe 100 bucks. 100 So you think for the PS2 disc, $100. Whoa. That just seems like it's too little now. <laughs> but I'm going to stick with it. Yeah, I'll stick with it. Stick with it, okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one. Mm, I'm gonna go one. I'm gonna go one fifty. Okay. I'm gonna go one fifty. And to me, even just saying that, it sounds a little crazy. But I gotta factor in the fact that one Marvel vs. Capcom two is insane. People that don't know nothing about fighting games were buying that game just so they can press buttons honestly there there were so many characters in that game also Let's true see. okay i got it i got it pulled up okay before i before i pull this up what is your what's your marvel vs. capcom 2 team oh okay okay we talking now all right so yes, i had sir. psylocke <clears throat> i had psylocke for the air combos for damn yeah. sure um, yep. I think I always had Guile with me at any point in time. Always Guile. Fair. And then fair. I had... Who was my third person? Captain Commando was number three sometimes. So they had the ultimate, like, synergy when it comes Captain to doing... Captain Commando. Yeah. Captain Commando! That guy. Captain Fire! Let's see, I got... And Captain I had, um, Commando. Hayate was also my other main. Oh, Captain Commando, yeah. Oh, he had his own game? He is the Capcom mascot. 
Capcom is Captain Commando. Wow, I did not know that. I didn't know until I played the game. I was like, oh, they're trying to go hard with this little lore, huh? Yeah, they really are. The, yo, Cap, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom has some deep lore in it. Facts. I'll take that. I too. know Psylocke is crazy for the uh, for the air combo. I think I had Psylocke on my team back in the day. I can't blame you. She had I, triple air jumps. I'm like, what is going on with this? Yeah, like, why is she so high in the air? Like, what I'm is like, going? What on? is going? <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I think my team was my team had cable on it for sure. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Cable was nice. Cable was nice back in them days. Uh, cable. Uh, oh man, who else? Spider Man. Ooh, and agile. When I played Marvel vs. Capcom two, I think I think I played it in the arcade, like. Remember, I told you that I was going to like the skating rinks and stuff. They had the um, they had the actual, like the actual arcade game. Man, it's so rare now. That's what I'm saying, bro. The actual arcade game with like sitting there and actually being able to play it with somebody else and just not just like pressing buttons and whatever. Yeah, talk about I got next. <laughs> yeah, like I got next. Somebody like. People are waiting behind you, re- re- ready to play. You got to put your quarters in. Bro, people, yo, yep. y'all new cats, man. Y'all new cats don't remember that, man. Those were the days. <laughs> he is not wrong, man. He is not wrong. Y'all motherfuckers playing games on your fucking Xboxes and shit. Okay, man, I sound like an old ass young man. fucks. Nah, I imagine. <laughs> Cappers, man. That was the game that no, told me man. air combos matter in real life, okay? That was it. I was like, yeah, <laughs> I got to do this. I got to pursue this. Whatever this is, is, these motherfuckers is floating and fighting. Why? I like it. Why? I have to know what's going on here. Yeah, honestly. I feel like it was Cable Spider-Man. I feel like I had Psylocke on there. If it wasn't Psylocke, it was the the uh, the squid with the eyes. The squid that had an eye in the middle, it was an octopus with just an eye. Oh, what's that guy's I name? I forgot. His name. I cannot remember his name. The squid with the eye. That dude was nice. Damn, I actually don't remember his name. Shumagorath? I wonder if he had his own game. Let's see. Squid. No, no. Octopus with eye. <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom. He's green, right? Yeah, I'm guessing. You know Shum- I'm talking about. I'm guessing his name is Shumagorath. I I don't know why I feel that Shumagorath, name comes to mind. Yeah, but I, I could be completely wrong. Is a powerful and ancient class three demon and possesses vast supernatural powers. Did he have a game? Uh, Somebody actually typed in who is the one eyed octopus in Marvel. Okay, that's actually super freaking jokes. So this is actually a, a search that people have looked up before. That is funny as hell. People got their yeah. like debuts in that game. A couple of them. Yeah, man. It's Marvel superheroes and- versus. Okay, so Shuma Gorath was in Marvel superheroes versus Street Fighter. Oh, that's why they just kept this fight, mm-hmm. put him in there, and they just put him in there. Yeah. So shout out Frank Perry who voiced this. <laughs> <laughs> octopus with eyes all right. shout out the homie frank perry all right let's see how much this game is ps2 marvel vs. capcom 2 going on ebay uh filters we're gonna do completed listings sold items oh you want ebay ebay it the last one sold literally today for one sixty five, bro. One sixty five, one twenty seven, one fifty seven, one fifty, one fifty. That's crazy. Wow. 
Okay. 50 for this damn game. That's insane. Man, we about to get that thing for a little bit less than that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now I can uh, play the game for free on Steam Deck. Yeah. Yes, sir. Like, what? Let me take this that. game. That's insane. Oh, yeah, I got to get X Men vs. Street Fighter, too. I got to get that also. X Men vs. Street Fighter was a good one. Yeah. Oh, Wolverine was on my team. I had to, Wolverine was on my team. Oh, which one? The um the bone one. Yeah, Berserker Barrage. Come on, man. Oh man. Yeah, not playing. Berserker and Barrage and everything. Not playing.com. So okay, so that's my top one game. $150 for the disc is crazy. So top one. And then the rest of the list gets very boring. So we got <laughs> uh we got Pokemon Silver. You okay, me? okay, okay. We got Pokemon Silver. We got um, uh, Zelda, the old like N sixty four Zelda, oh, Ocarina of Time, more specifically. Oh yeah, the one everyone says is the best version. Mm hmm. I like that one. I actually I played uh, Majora's Mask, but you know I. I feel like Ocarina of Time was my first one, so I might, I might just have some bias towards that game, just because it was that good. Oh, it was that good. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, what else did I have on there? Eh, Murray, Silver, Ocarina of Time. Uh, hey, what kind of fish hair do you want? This uh, kind. Yeah, the goatee. This is cool? Okay. Yeah. That's good right there. <laughs> it's okay. Hard. Need a goatee, you dig me. Let's go. Talk to him nice. Talk to him nice. Look at this. Ah! You dig? Let's see. You want like sunglasses? My other two games. And I remember my other two games. Yes, sunglasses. Yes. I've actually started wearing uh, sunglasses more. Okay, cool. More recently. Let's see. What were my other two games? Oh, uh, Need for Speed, Most Wanted. Whoa. The old PS2 game. I used to play that game religiously, yo. And that was the fourth one, and I cannot remember the fifth one. I'll remember it later, but my, like, my list of games was so... Oh, and Dark Alliance. Whoa. I ain't heard that game in two... What the hell? You remember that game? The X-Men one? No, it was, um, so Dark Alliance was a, it was a one, it was either a one player, or two player, like RPG kind of, not RPG, but it was similar to Zelda where you're just, you're walking around. I got the game for like $10 because, uh, my mom had worked at Walmart at the time. Oh, nice. And she was like, she was like, oh, I got this game for you. And I was like, I mean, this $10 weak ass game. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> but I actually played it and I was like, oh, this is like, this is actually fire. So it meant it took up a lot of my childhood because that was the one game that I had for the PS2 at the time. Okay. And just the fact that she went out, got it for me, brought it back, and I ended up really liking it, it just goes up on my top list for sentimental value oh i get you i get you i get mm -hmm. you yeah no nah, dark alliance i really fuck with that game i really fuck with that game heavy damn okay so that's that, sick anybody get this on steam deck yeah. bro shit i'm telling you bro steam deck about to go crazy like if actually you, anybody out there that has a steam deck in the comments what are what games are you playing on your steam deck because there's so many options yo yeah, and um, when it comes to the options, you have a lot of ways of finding out which games work best on Steam Deck because mm -hmm. you can go online and you look at what games to get and they actually tell you what games have already been tested for Steam Deck. So, oh, true. so they can be like, oh, you want to get this game? Well, we actually know this game is actually, it works perfectly fine, so... You know, have fun or whatever. Or they'll be yeah. like, we actually haven't tested this game yet. Um, 
but it should be okay. So then you worry, then you don't have to worry. You're okay. You're like, okay, well, let me just um, take this with a grain of salt and just see what I could. Oh, damn, I messed up with the, the sketching. See how I can tinker it to make it work in my favor. Yeah. So, like, you know, a game will be too slow at this. They'll tell you, oh, you know, you got to tinker it. You got to put this at like 41 frames per second or something. And then the, the game will yeah. run smoothly. And you'll be like, oh, okay, cool, no problem. And then that's it. You download it and you play any Steam game out the box, pretty much. You just put it, pop it in, you play, you ain't got to do nothing. And they tell you what that's games so can do dope. that. Yeah, and the community is gigantic. They'll always try to help you out and show you where to go to do something. I actually wrote this down too. I didn't want to forget. There's there's a, a whole plugin section. A whole plugin. It's called um It's called Decky. And with Decky, you can add apps into your Steam Deck pretty much. So there's an app where you can download the fucking FAQ for the game you're playing as you're playing it. You click on it, you read it, you go back. That's busted. Yeah, shocking. I was like, what the fuck? Um, they also have a way where you can play the music. Okay. Listen closely, everyone. You can play the music and the sound effects from another game of your choice. If I wanted Sonic Rings to come out every time a Mortal Kombat character got stabbed in the chest, that's exactly what would happen. That is crazy. So then there's that one. We also have custom boot up animation. So what that is, and this is where I'm about to fucking blast the game. I'm blasting the whole market. I'm selling all of these, okay? There's a way to customize your boot up video. So what a boot up video is, if you can't already figure that out. I actually didn't even know what the fuck it was. I didn't even know it had a name. But a boot up video is when you start a GameCube, for example, and you see that little square cube going boop, 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 and then that's the video you see, and it's supposed to be iconic. The Dreamcast one, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ooh, 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 that little fucking swirly thingy, yeah. So everyone has this. The Game Boy has a little thing. Every video, every video game system has had it, and it has never not been true. You can make it, okay? Go on my YouTube channel, okay? I'm going to animate one for Token also because I actually have a sprite in my iPad, so we can talk about that too. But when we, I can make it, so my YouTube air combo, you know what? I think I can show them the combo in this. Oh, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I'll do it post. But um, I animated the air combo for no reason, made that my YouTube intro for literally no reason. That can be the video you see when you start up my Steam Deck, literally, up to 30 seconds of any animation, period. It's crazy. So I'm going to be able to do... That's a lot. That's a lot of... That's a lot of time. That's busted. Yeah. So it's like... I'm trying to... I'm going to get that popping. And then... um, What's it called? I'll be able to start selling them to people. Or do it on Patreon. It's like... Ooh. Hold on. Yeah. I'll do it on Patreon. Um, Maybe I'll drop them off. Like I'll drop... I'll do a new one every month or something. And then they can watch me animate it. And I don't know. Something like that. But um, That's smart. you can customize the video that your Steam Deck is, that it plays when it shows up. And it has sound on it too. Up to 30 seconds. You can have a whole half of a music video or something. Or if you know your Steam Deck is going to be at a party or something, you can boot it up and then, you know, you can be like, watch my YouTube channel, bitch, or something like that in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, Watch my YouTube channel, mother. Yeah, I'm about to. I'm finna be a. Um, yo, what is that hand sign you do? You said two up, two in the air, or something like that. Two fingers in the air. It's the pinky and the uh, index finger. Pinky and index. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can't have it facing down then, huh? No. Okay, I'll draw this up down. Okay. He <laughs> said no. <laughs> that's, very, that's very disrespectful. Nah, I feel it, bro. I feel it. You said your thumb. You said your index and pinky. Index and pinky, yeah. Index. There you go. Yep, I can see it. Yeah, yo. That's Oops. Dope. Hold on, one more time. I'm doing it this way. Yeah. All right. Cool. Is your thumb inside or outside uh, of that? Uh, inside. 
So you wouldn't even really see it from that angle. Yeah, Uh, there you go, right there, yeah. No, you can, that that right there is good. Okay. Let me see it again. Make it a little bit bigger. Oh, oh, oh. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, but it's kind of cool, actually. Hell, I mean, I can animate like that. How do I reset that? Okay, uh, freeform, no, uniform. There we go, make it a little bigger. Yeah. And draw Shout over out it. Texas, man. Yeah. Shout out Texas, shout out Cali, shout out London, man. Man. And shout out to you, man. Shout out to you for listening to the podcast right and, now. And uh, you're doing us a big service here. We will not forget it. You feel me? And uh, And actually, this uh, is a good segue into the comment section. So if you guys want to get your specific topics on the podcast, just leave a comment over on my YouTube channel. Leave a comment on Beatdown's YouTube channel. A lot of the clips are going to be between both of our YouTube channels. So if you guys want it, like I said, this is episode 0.1. You know, we're still figuring it out. We're still moving through. Um, But episode zero with the not so good quality on my end, um, you know, you can leave comments on those to get your specific topics in the next episode. So... Somebody left a comment, and I'm sorry that I could not find the comment. Um, Or I can't find the comment, so I don't know your name. But I actually commented under it and said, if we talk about this and I forget to mention you, just know, you know. You know I'm talking about you. (laughs) Specifically, just in case I couldn't find it. Uh, But the comment pretty much says, how would we... Use the music industry to our advantage and kind of just we can talk about like what our thoughts are on the music industry for artists, rappers, you know, whatever. And then how would you use the music industry to your advantage on, you know, what you're trying to do and what your goals are? Good question. So my main, my main, 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 main goal is to animate an animated series and have a bunch of forms of media in that regard. So my main goal is I want to have a movie because I like making epic shit, maybe a little TV series, a couple of games, about six games. Um, I already have 80 characters that I made up. 30 of them will be in the first game, 50 in the second game, 80 in the third, just tons and tons and tons of characters, tons of moves, tons of combos. Um, and I'm actually, whatever it takes to get me to that point, it doesn't really matter what it is. Music, comedy, dancing, whatever I blow up in will help me get that leverage and I'll be able to tail some other company to make my game for me and have creative control because I don't want to, I don't want to be like, yo, Guilty Gear, make my game, please. And they'd be like, you know what? I got better ideas. No, I'm paying you. You feel me? (laughs) Do what what I'm telling you. Do what I ask, please. You feel me? (laughs) <laughs> any differences you have you know make your own game i'll let you use my little you know amazing system i just made up <laughs> but anyway um yeah so that's my main goal so however i get there i really don't care all we need to know is the end goal the rest take care of itself you feel me so yeah that's what i have I'm, that's my main goal um on top of that trying to do some media shit people want to do a commercial i can probably get oh let me do this let me do that I got you in no time. We'll make a commercial for your stuff. Maybe a little media company. Um, And I think that's my main one. Maybe do a comedy show on stage every now and then. When I do my little tours, I'll probably talk some shit in between. You know what I mean? Crack a little jokes. Play around with other celebrities and all that. You know, all that stuff. Oh, it's looking pretty nice, bro. It's coming together, bro. I'm I'm watching it. There you go. I might make your head a little... Small as leading to the left a little bit. I'll put it over to the right. What else we got? Oh, yeah. The buttons for the shirt. <laughs> My shirt bare as hell. Now I got to do a little floral pattern. Oh, yeah. That's dope. There you hey, go. They, y'all got y'all to gotta fuck with the floral uh, the floral pattern on the shirt, man. That floral token, man. That's just That hits different, to be honest. Especially with them Cortezes. <laughs> y'all gonna see the y'all gonna see the flower flower boy token you did yeah here we go give him a little give him a little smart looking pen or something <laughs> oh 
I, you know, I'm trying to get on it. You know what I'm saying? The, you know what I'm saying? Okay. The smart, the, the nigga that carries around a pen and a notepad vibes. Y'all <laughs> see me reading books at the, uh, at the site. Hey, facts. Man was out here getting knowledge up. Man. You feel me? Oops. Looks like I have a yarmulke on. Nah, it's... <laughs> Nah, I'm gonna. I think I did this wrong. Hold on, I'm gonna do it like that. Okay. There we go. There it is. Nah, for me, I think the music industry is now. The music industry for me is. I would have to see what they can do for us that we can't do for ourselves. Oh, yeah, that's facts. I'd break, you know what I mean? Like, I'd break that down by saying not everybody, not everybody that does music does it. No, let me, let me rephrase that. Nobody in music (laughs) does it the way that we do it, the way that Cypher Gang does it, the way that. You know what I'm saying? The way that we've been able to build the stuff that we have. In most cases, when people are going to the music industry, they're going and asking the music industry to build something for them. Whereas we have already built everything off of our own ten toes with our own two hands. Facts. You know, within within our own circles. So it would be like, music industry what can you do for us that we can't already or haven't already done for ourselves you know what i mean yeah they need to be they need to be convincing us at this point because we already can do it without anyone else's help exactly exactly so if, if anybody from the music industry wants to come up they have to come with more than just like okay we're gonna give you some money and then we're gonna do this like what can you provide that we can't either just get on our own or build by ourselves you know what i mean right we so they I, already know we can get them million views right exactly so i personally use it for i would personally just use it for more more distribution like more just being able to get the product out to more people. Yeah. We've already built, we've built the product already. And even if it, you know, million views, 2 million, 3 million, there's still more people out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. In the first place. Not have seen it. Right. Exactly. So it's like music industry. Y'all got to be coming with some numbers, but also with, things that we cannot that we can't do ourselves so we'd kind of have to the music industry would have to shape its way around what we're already doing rather than we're gonna build something for you based on what we want you dig me yeah exactly Y'all gotta y'all gotta come with some uh y'all gotta come with some notes some some something yeah so what shout you, out, hey, what shout you out got? to my man with the comment you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, bro. I'm sorry. I cannot remember. I I literally, you can ask B down. I spent a good 10 minutes trying to find the damn comment. Yeah, he's not lying. We've been, we been talking about that for, <laughs> <laughs> for a minute. We were like, wait a second. I seen the comment too. I was like, oh yeah, good idea. We talk about that. We commented on it. And I'm like, what? There's no way I can't fucking find this shit now. But shout out, shout out to the homie, man, for real. Jesus. <laughs> Jeez. So hey, the cipher the cipher's gonna be crazy, bro. The cipher's gonna be crazy. Oh yeah, we definitely talk about up. this. We definitely have to Oh wait, is my phone recording? Oh, okay, cool. Whew. Whew. That was close. Nah, we good. My we good. heart dropped. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> my fault, my fault, my fault. No, you good, bro. Yeah, so far so good though. My fault. We good. So what can you let let's let's give them a little something about the cipher without without revealing to without revealing anything. I'll just say this on my end: the the cipher is about to be 
crazy, insane, yo. For the cipher is about to be real. crazy. The shit that Beatdown did on the cipher, yo. I'm telling y'all, next level, yo. Next level. Oh, the verse. Yeah, man. What? Oh man, appreciate the verse, that. The video, like they, oh. they're not ready for the. They're not ready for the. Nah, they, they, they not. <laughs> Y'all not ready for the They're not ready. Man. We got animated stuff coming in. We got combos. We got final boss. Not in the cipher. Um, in the promo that yeah. we're finna oh, do. Yeah. Let alone what else is going on. The promo. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all oh. not even ready for the promo. The promo is gonna be crazy. Oh, that cipher warm up part one. Part nineteen, part eleven. It is yeah, no, I'm not part eleven. Okay, okay, okay. I'm doing too much. <laughs> yeah. Um, the cipher house was fun. It was, it was. It, it's always a good time to see everybody. You know what I mean, like just being at the house again. Well, just being at the house and just show. When I showed up, it was G E B down and Peso already there. So, you know, the homies was already there chilling, waiting. But seeing everybody getting to meet Lime King. Man, you, that was a boy. Yeah, yo, Lime King is a good dude, man. Shout out Lime King, man. He just wants to have fun. He wants to get shit turned up. And that's it. And that, he was <laughs> dancing the entire time, yo. The whole time, yeah. Actually, there the whole wasn't time. a time where I didn't see him dancing. <laughs> we you gotta get Lime King on it. Shofu said it in his vlog. He was like, "Yo, we need the Lime King interview." And then I was like, "Well, shoot, we got the podcast. Let's just hit up Lime King, get him on a podcast, interview him for the one time, like see what he's about." I didn't know he was Australian until he started talking. Now that's funny. <laughs> He does have an yeah, accent, and it's funny because I hear his accent a lot in England. So when I imitated yeah. him, he was like, oh, you're not that bad, bro. You got practice? I'm like, yeah, it's a little bit. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I do this. I'm over here in, in London. Like, imitating the other half of your peoples. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, he's actually sick. He's the type of dancer that I was at his age. He's not that much younger than yeah. us, but I, was, I stopped dancing... I stopped officially battling in 2000, tw wait, 2018? No, yeah. well, I don't, I, technically I wouldn't, I don't have a battle record for this year or a couple of years ago. That's what I'm saying. I could still battle. I wouldn't right. be like out the system, but the last couple of years I don't have a record. So with the battling stuff, you always got to have a good two, three, four, five kill offs on you at any time. Kind of like, kind of like disposable weapons, I guess I want to say. Um, and he is fucking full of them, like actually. Yeah, whoa, he's like prepared, there. like ready to go. Yeah, and he has an ability to make up moves as he goes, which shows that one, he knows what the fuck he's doing at all times because he can just make shit up based on what he does with his body. And then number two, he actually battles also full blown battle. You know, he goes to places just to kick people's asses, and then. He just won a trophy, actually, right when he went back. Him and his dance crew did a little battle in Australia, and they actually won in first place <laughs> right yeah, after the I cypher. saw that. Like, <laughs> he, le he literally left the cypher, recorded some crazy shit, and then went, went, won a dance contest right after that. Right after. Oh, wait, this is too not dark. He's definitely, yeah... Definitely, <laughs> definitely gonna be doing big things. Shout out to the homie Lime King. Man. Yeah, talk. Sure. Yeah, talk to him. Nice or die. Either one. Up to you. Whichever bro. one you want to do. Yeah, honestly, it's not. It's not really up to us. It's up yeah. to you. <laughs> um. Yeah, but um, Lime King is gonna be in the cipher warm up. If you guys don't already know, um, mm. Lime King, me, Token, Black Link. And you feel me? I actually, G. E. said he wanted to be on. Maybe we can still do it in time because I actually have his sprites already done too. Oh, that's broken. Then you don't even have to do anything. 
Yeah, exactly. So then, it, yeah, exactly. <laughs> shout out GE, man. Um, Yo, shout out GE for for gaining ten million pounds. Bro, how did he do in it? For years, bro. I'm still mad at myself. He told me, "Yo, man, I'm gonna go to the gym." Um, sometime after lunch or something. And when I came back, he had to leave because, ooh, nice. He had to leave because he didn't have any, um, more free days off of work. Yeah. And I was like, oh man. So to this day, I haven't worked out with GE. I wish I could have said that. (laughs) But now, the next time we see each other, I'm going to just be damn buff my damn self. There's no way. They're gonna get away with that. This That's is... my goal, man. Seeing seeing him get that like that big over time. And he was not goal. yeah, like, he was not playing with it. He was out here. Um he had the protein bars and all that shit, man. Yeah, and he was like, I'm gonna go compete. I'm like, what? <laughs> that is actually sick. I like that we do comp- like I like that a lot of us are like about shit. And it shows, yeah. if that makes sense. No, no, it does. Like everybody's got everybody's got their own thing. Like nobody's just nobody's just like does decipher and then go home and just hang out. Right. That's actually like everybody. Yeah, it. couldn't be further from the truth. Yeah, exactly. Everybody, everybody goes home and they're actually like about something. Like they're actually doing something. Like in with their themselves. field. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else we got on here? Let's see, Droptober. Oh! Okay, so speaking of what we do best. (laughs) Okay. Um, okay. So we got Droptober coming up. So today is a few days before October. Hits. Uh, I believe it hits this weekend. And it's... Monday? It's technically Tuesday. For me. It's Tuesday for you. It's still Monday for one more hour for me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, let me see. What else are we doing here? Let's go back into the picture. Oh! Okay. Why are his eyes fucking blue? Hello? Oh, this is bad. I didn't even see the drawing. Okay, I can easily fix this in post. All right, cool. Um... Let's see. Uh, okay, first of all, Droptober is finna hit hard as hell. That's number one. Cypher Gang has actually been talking about this in advance, which I actually don't recall. But everybody is hopping in. We doing collabs. We doing tag teams. We doing features. Yeah. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, so for me, I'm recording tomorrow. Um, we got some beats sent to us. We're going to use them. Me and Token going to be on some tracks. Um, Facts. Probably use this image for one of the beats or something. Just to maybe we should have a podcast song, an official. Oh, that'd be sick. Might as well. Shit. Yeah. Fucking. Why not? Dude. And then in the middle, in the post, we can put in the middle and post, we can put one of our songs in between the podcast as we're talking. Hey, perfect. Good idea. Okay, that's cool then. Um, and that's another place to put music videos too, like you did on the vlog. On the vlog. Oh, the music videos. Like how you did on the vlog where you put the music videos. It's a, the, the podcast is another place to like, right in the middle, put a, just put a music video. Oh, like a, um, intermission or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. You feel me? Say less. That's a great I'm idea. You, bro. All right, cool. That's actually great. That's a great idea, actually. Yeah, we doing that. We can easily make it so um, you guys will see our stuff in like the cleanest light too. We're going to make everything look really nice. I'm working on this art as you can see. I'm going to do much better stuff, much easier. Um, Not much easier. I'll probably do like a full page. Like I'll probably go like that instead and shit for like the boxes. Um, What color pants are you going to wear? white say less okay 
you said white. See what, if white white might look dope as contrast on there. Okay, I got you with the Cortezes. <laughs> you dig me? Let me see if I can draw on top. Oh, I can. Hmm. Why not? It's tough. One, two, three, four, five. Do do this little little something. Detective oh. Pikachu has a game coming out. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, hey, that's kind of <laughs> the fire. All right, we getting there. We getting there. Okay, so where did I mess up here? I actually don't think it made it. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We are now. This episode's about to be long as shit. <laughs> yeah, honestly. What, what, what is it now? 50 minutes? Okay, that's fine. Um, We got dropped where over. We at? We're, at, we're only at 50 minutes? <laughs> yeah. 5 oh, That's not bad. Yeah, not bad. We can end it here anyway. We can do whatever we want. Um... We already said watch the vlogs. Hmm. So let's do, so let's do, we'll talk about Droptober in the next episode. When All it's, right. uh, yeah, when we, we, we can put the Droptober stuff in the beginning of the next episode. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then it'll be, it'll be easier to talk about it. Sounds good to me. Yo, hey, shout out to everybody that listened to the podcast, man. For real. Yeah. We're going to be doing Feel a me. whole lot of stuff. We got plans. We've been talking about it. We've been writing stuff down. Yeah. We oh, love yeah. doing these podcasts, man. Appreciate y'all rocking with it. Appreciate y'all rocking with the Patreon once we get that started. Rocking with the YouTube. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to Beatdown, talk man. Talk to him. Talk to him. You feel me? Subscribe. Uh, follow us on Spotify. We're going to be dropping a lot of music real soon. And definitely hit up Shofu's channel for the Cypher. Y'all don't want to miss the Cypher when it comes out because that's going to be where everybody's going to go to and that's where everybody's going to blow up from. You feel me? Facts. And when you come back to our channel to be like, oh, I wonder who these guys are. What do they do? Oh, that's exactly what we're doing. We're doing a podcast. We're doing some animations. We're doing collab music videos. YouTube videos will be here every week, somewhere along those lines. Yep. There we Talk go. to him. You got you got any uh any music you want to let them know about before we get out of here? Yeah, let's see. We're gonna do um. I got a song coming out called "Speech Impediment" because I hit you in the mouth so hard you would get one. So that's like my little that's theme fire. coming in. Hit him in the mouth. Speech impediment. He's irrelevant. You know, stuff like that. That's my next song that rhymes the whole way. Three verses on that shit. No, two verses. Um, Just a little quick little bar out, you know. Or I might use that verse for another song. It depends on the beat. But it's definitely going to come out real soon. I'm talking about the first Friday of October. Um, yeah. Got that one. And I'm going to be making a whole lot of drawing videos about the rest of the squad and... Getting them prepared for um, this music video coming out. And with that Procreate Dreams animation app, it is going to go down with animations. It's going to be so much easier, so much faster to get everything done. And I'll be able to... Oh, yeah, that's too dark. I'll be able to uh, bring my art to life much quicker than normal. So it would be definitely something to look out for because... I've seen some YouTube videos. They be using other people's characters and still getting five hundred thousand. Like, damn, I'll use my own then. <laughs> yeah, facts. Like what? Right. Yeah, like Scooby versus Sonic. Okay, cool. But um, just make two random characters instead with a good design. What's the difference, really? Uh, but yeah, man, we got stuff coming out a whole lot. Um, Patreon is coming out coming out real soon. I'm gonna see what it takes to make a full blown one. And then I'll transfer that also to my YouTube membership. We have YouTube memberships now. Um, 
There's an app called buymeacoffee.com. For those who like to donate, we will use the donations that we receive in order to boost the quality of our podcasts, as well as, you know, like mics and having good internet and ethernet cables and being able to do stuff live. So that would be nasty. Trying to get it done live. We're trying to find a way in our means to do our podcast live on Twitch Yeah, every now and then. And then we could either be playing games with the fans, or I could be drawing, maybe doing a commission, or uh, making a music video, editing one. Like, we can do whatever we want while we're doing the podcast, so you guys always have something to look for and look at. Um, but yeah, we got lots of coming through. We're going to just throw it all out. Whatever you guys like, we'll stick to that stuff for now, and then we'll start getting our other ideas together and organizing them. We have a couple episodes in the future talking about the music industry. What we're going to do with it, what exactly is a bar, how to make one, uh, why a lot of people can't make one, mm-hmm. and a couple other skills in rap, and who's best at it, and who to look at to get ideas on how to think when you at All this stuff, we got it all coming through. I got paragraphs on paragraphs. Um, yep. Token and I are going to be playing a lot of video games together, especially when the Steam Devs come to our houses. Some games are online. We can play games together against the fans. Um there are a lot of games that are multiplayer that don't need to be on a certain game system. So like cross compatible, for example, Rocket League. Um, what else we got? We're going to talk about everything. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to him. Um, yeah. So for now, just stay tuned for the Patreons and more YouTube uh, content and we're going to tweet about it also so follow us on any of those really uh, you'll see it on the screen right now all the stuff you can follow also going to be in the yep. description um, we are back we are here to stay every time the cypher comes out I'm around for a bit and then I drop the ball and it's appeared that is never going to happen again I don't have time for that shit I'm trying to get this popping if we can get never. it to the point where we can create content full time you will see some real good content that's the deal right there that's the last thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you, if we get that head start, we get some type of little boost, we are there. But we're going to be creating so, anyway, you know? Just like the show, let the buckets know, let the comments know. Feel me? You know what to do. So we're trying to get beat down. We're trying to get beat down back in the States so we can do the podcast live, like, at find a, find a place. Because there's places down here, actually, that we could just like sit at they have the mics and recording stuff already there for us so oh, okay yeah 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 so anything you guys you know what i'm saying anything you guys got <laughs> the patreon all that stuff it'll be uh it'll be for uh <laughs> to get <laughs> to get beat down down here uh to the states and we can do it live and then maybe do a fan meetup or something like that down here with me and the homie beat down man uh so we rock with you guys super heavy it's your boy um all my music stuff will be later once i get to record it so it's your boy bug token yeah ultimate level 35 billion motherfucker uh y'all here man (laughs) keep rocking with us as we uh as we move through and i still don't know what that shit was that was on my neck (laughs) bro <laughs> I, to this day, man. I still don't know what it was, man. Shout to out to the shout out to day. y'all. Shout out to homie beat down. We out of here, man. Stay safe. Alright. Yeah. Bitch. Wait. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Hold on. Wait, distort, I think it is. You got it. You're hey, you're, <laughs> you're, Stay you're, you're, you're safe you're, you're, out here. You feel me? It's your boy, Ultimate Insect Level 35. Stop stop fucking with us. Stop playing with us. We gonna continue to kill shit, man. Check the flowers on the shirt. Then I put a flower on your bitch. She's dead. <laughs> Talk to him nice. Okay. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Is that was that- a good one. Yeah, man.